Hey guys, V here, and today I'm going to show you how to put the motherboard into your case properly. The easiest way to do it, I'll just show you step by step uh, how to get it in this hole nicely, how to even it out, and all that good stuff. If you missed my previous videos of how to put the CPU in and the RAM in, if you need to know, I'll link them somewhere in this video. Your motherboard might be different than mine. Mine already has this plate already attached to the motherboard itself, but if you don't have this plate attached, it'll come with one, and that will just fit in here. The way you would do that is grab it, stick it in to that hole right there, and you would push it evenly, and you should hear it snap, and then you would go ahead and follow the next steps that I'm going to do. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this motherboard into the case. First, let's go ahead and do this peel. Oh, that's so satisfying. First things first, check your case. Make sure there's no cables running across here. You don't want them under the motherboard. You would rather have them run behind the actual case. So definitely check that. And then the other thing you want to make sure of is these little riser things. You don't want any more than what you need unless they're on the outskirts so if you have a small board and these are here you can leave them in or you can take them out but if you have a big board like mine which is going to pretty much take up the whole space from the top to the bottom what you're going to want to do is make sure these all line up and if you have an extra one say here or something then you want to remove that because it could touch something on the back of there and cause it to short so keep that in mind all right, I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. I'm going to use just one hand because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. So I'm just gonna grab it by the cooler itself. I feel safe doing this. I've done it plenty of times, nothing happens. The cooler is heavier than the motherboard itself. So grab that and what you're gonna to wanna to do is carefully set it down and slowly get it in there and it's set down now. Then you wanna make sure, I'm gonna zoom you in there to one of the holes. You wanna line it up with the bolt holes. So there they are. Then you go around here and make sure all the, uh, this plate lined up perfectly. Some cases and some plates are a bit different. Some of them you need, they have like little clips and stuff like that. This one does not, this one just sets and you can see it's flush all through here. So there's that, and you can see all the bolts are lining up. Sometimes they don't line up perfectly, you just go ahead and push it just a little bit towards the way that it needs to go, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and put your screws. So usually the case screws also have extra risers, but in this case there aren't any, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to thread one into that corner one right there, and we'll figure out which ones it is. Uh, different case will have different uh, screws for this, so your, your case might be different. Keep that in mind. You wanna be careful tightening these. You don't wanna do them too tight. What I usually do is I'll go all the way down and then I will back off just the tiniest bit. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'm with this hand here, I'm pushing on the motherboard towards the rear and at the same time, I'm screwing this down just to have it as close as possible on this end here. All right, so we finished screwing everything in. I won't get too much into the connections because every motherboard is different. However, I will tell you how what my process is. I have used this board in a couple other builds, so I know where everything plugs in. But if this is a new board for you or you're using a different board, what I do is check my owner's manual and usually I will check what each connection does. So for example, you go to these here and these explain every single connection, what they do and sometimes they'll even tell you what to plug in there. So DLED, um, LED C, you know, I don't know every single one of them, but I do know um, the majority of them. So I know this one is for the front panel LED, the power button, stuff like that. That's my process of doing this. 
that's how I do it. And then I just run the cables to the shortest. So if I need to plug something in here, I'll run it through here. And obviously since this is all a mesh, I would kind of run it towards the bottom, run it up, run it here, kind of hide the cables. So that's my process of installing the motherboard, connecting everything. I always look in here, but overall, hope you enjoyed this video. This is V, I'm out. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.